What are the chances of bumping into a friend in a different country? I'm out there doing some magic and then out of nowhere, my friends show up. And this is the exact moment it happened. Oh my God. <laughs> and I live in Lithuania, Vilnius. They live in Las Vegas. None of us live there, although we love that place. But somehow we ended up in New Orleans, Louisiana. Or should I say, Louisiana. They didn't post any Instagram stories. I didn't post any Instagram stories. It was so random. So logically, I thought I need to do some math and find out what are the chances of this happening. So today, we're gonna do some math and I'll give you the answer. I have this amazing camera right here so you can see all of the math happening right here. And believe it, it's gonna be very, very magical. Let's go. To solve this mystery, we're going to use the good old uh, formula called Bayes' theorem. I know it looks complicated, don't worry, I'll explain everything so you can follow along. So before we jump into the math, here's how uh, we will break it down. P, friend, city. Uh, this is the chance I meet a friend if I'm in a particular city. P, city, friend. This is the chance my friend happens to be in the city. P, friend. This is the chance that any random person I meet is actually my friend. And P city, this is the chance that I'm in the city in the first place. Let's see how many people are uh, there in the world. So Google tells me that now the population of the world is 7.951 billion people in the world. And this metric was uh, true in 2022, 2024 right now. Uh, people were having some more babies. So let's assume we have 8 billion people in the world right now. But guess what? Around 80% of uh, the population live in places like deserts or jungles where probably I wouldn't visit. So we can take them out of the calculation. This gives us approximately 6.6 .6 billion people. Next, let's talk about Louisiana, the US state that I visited and by the way, loved it. I love, love, love Louisiana. There are around 4.6 million people living there. If we include all the tourists, it jumps up to 7 million people. So with these numbers, we're getting a little bit closer. We need a new formula. We are going to assume that the chance of me being in a city depends on how many people live there. Basically, the bigger the city, the more likely I am to visit. Once I'm in that city, there's a chance I might bump into someone I know. The more people there are, the harder it is. But hey, anything is possible, right? Now we need to find out how many friends I have. And it's really hard to count all of the friends. So I took this metric. 2,173 Facebook friends. What is the chance that any random person I meet is actually my friend? Let's do the math for this. And this is the answer. It looks complicated. I'll tell you, this is three out of 10 million. That's a super tiny number. There's other way to write this down and let me do that. So this is the same number, just written in a very different way. That's super tiny number, right? But hey, we're still going to figure out what are the odds of running into one of them. Now that we have some estimates, let's break it down. P city, this is the chance that I'm in a particular city, which we talked about. P friend, this is the chance that any random person I meet happens to be one of my friends. And the last thing we need is P city friend. The chance that my friends, Misty and Kyle, are in same city. Since they're from the US, we know Louisiana has its share of overall population with around 300 million people in the US. We can estimate that 2.3% of the US population lives in Louisiana. So there's a 2.3% chance they might be in Louisiana when I'm there. So we have all of the things we need. And now let's plug everything back into this formula and see what we get. So this is the answer and it's seven in a million. But that's kind of a best case scenario. The real chance is probably a lot smaller. This assumes that if two friends are in the same city, they will definitely bump into each other. In real life, we all know it's not that simple. So let's make it more realistic by dividing that number by 100. And we're gonna get closer to the real odds. 
And the answer is seven in 100 million. Imagine you are standing on the beach with 100 million grains of sand and only seven of them are painted red. Meeting a friend in another city is like randomly picking all seven of those red grains of sand. How crazy that is. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe for more fun videos.